And now we are in the final question of the EOT term 3. The techniques of integration is the question number 15. Here all these problems can be easily solved in calculator because this is in the MCQ part. So let's take our calculators. One important thing to know over here, we need to know the options otherwise this cannot be solved. So let's look into the options. So when you integrate this particular equation, you're getting this answer. So what if you differentiate it? Now imagine you differentiate it. You must get the above question, isn't it? So this is the thing because they both are inverse of each other. Integral gives you the answer. If you differentiate, you get back the question. So now what I do is I'll type this question as it is. Please follow how to do this exactly. Co cosine x. That's it. Close the bracket. And it's you can put a multiplication sign here or you can ignore. That's fine. Now remember, since it's in trigonometry, press shift mode and 4 and make it to radian. Now what you need to do is not equal to, you need to press calc at 1.5. Let's solve this particular equation. You can even change the value of 1.5. You can make it anything else. But in general, I always use 1.5. That's it. You can stick to that same value. Now what is the answer you're getting over here? We are getting 0 0.106. So write it down over here at 1.5. That is x value. We are getting 0 0.1061. Now what you need to do is solve all the four options. But how do you solve them? Derive them. Shift and this symbol gives you dy by dx. They write it out. Sine in x into sine x. Close the bracket. Plus cosine. That is cosine x. And now don't write C because it's constant. It will be derived anyways to 0. Now this x value is whatever you assume just now. That is 1.5. And look here. It matches. Only one correct answer will match. All the others will be unique. So now even over here you can do the same thing. Let's do a little different type. Now what about natural logarithm? Now here we need to look into the options. Since there is no square root, no trigonometry in this. You can directly solve it up. That is, put x times natural logarithm x over here, close the bracket. Now calculate it at 1.5. Let's write the answer over here. It's 0 0.60819. Now you need to solve all the four options, but don't directly solve them. Press shift, dy by dx, and then type it out. 1 by 2, it's over here, x squared. Multiply it with natural logarithmic x, close the bracket. Now, it's very important if you open a bracket inside, close it as well. There are already two brackets initially, but you need to open and close properly. Minus one fourth. And over here, you need to just put x squared and calculate the x value at 1.5. That's the answer it matches. It should match. The correct answer will always match. Now, even over here, they are pretty straightforward problems. You can try them by yourselves. And sometimes, if at all, you have natural logarithm with trigonometry, use this over here, log base e. Then it's all right. Now, let's try this one over here. You need to know what's the answer. This is the answer over here. So let us do this. All you need to do is type it out. x squared multiplied by e, that is shift and ln to the power x cubed. Now, what next? Now calculate it at 1.5 and write the answer somewhere over here, 65.7546. And now what you do is put this as it is 1 by 3 e to the power that is shift and over here e to the power alpha x cubed. And okay, now this doesn't help. I need to do it at dy by dx. So don't do this mistake in the exam. If you press calc over here, no, this is absolutely different. But if you derive that particular answer, that is by dy by dx, one thirds x cubed. Now it is e to the power, that is shift and e to the power x cubed over here at 1.5. So x value is 1.5. Now it will match over here. So this is how we solve these problems. No need of any substitution, no u substitution, nothing. Direct calculator method. You need to look into the answers and solve. Now let's do this one. This is interesting. Now what is secant? 
multiplied by secant is now always use bracket when you're doing secant because it's one by cosine that's the reciprocal identity now close the brackets and it's squared so square it up after the brackets calculated at 1.5 so let's write it out 299.775 now what you need to do is it must be in radian mode and it is so it's fine now look at the answer here the first part is pretty simple you need to first press dy by dx x tan x everything is there nothing to worry about plus now here if i press land natural logarithm i'll show you natural logarithm even if you want you can put absolute value but that's not required cosine x close the bracket and use 1.5 you're getting a syntax error and there is no bracket error or anything why is this because we have used natural logarithm now here all you need to do is remove this and use log base e that is alpha and this symbol gives you base e now let's try cosine x and close the bracket it was already closed i guess no there is two brackets okay now it's proper at 1.5 now this is matching so whenever you have natural logarithm, ln e is equal to log base e. So ln is equal to log base e. Just that when you're computing in this calculator, use log base e, you will get the answer. Now, how about this problem? This looks interesting. Now, this also seemed like how we did a while ago. And in fact, this is pretty straightforward as well because there is no trigonometry, no square root here. It's direct substitution. Now, what do we do is? First thing, open bracket, natural logarithm, x, that is over here. Close the brackets properly and square it up. Write this value. It is 0 0.16444. Okay. So now what you need to do is look into all the four options. Over here we have the final answer, right? This is the correct answer, but you will have four different answers. You need to do this for all the methods. So all the options, sorry. X multiplied by, open the bracket, natural logarithm that is directly x close the bracket and close the land natural logarithm bracket as well and square it up minus two times x natural logarithmic x plus close the bracket plus two times x now calculate this particular value at 1.5 and the answer should match and it will match this is the answer here you can directly use this natural logarithm itself, no need of log base e. Why? Because there is no trigonometry or no inner function involved. Similarly, please do try all the others by yourselves and you will definitely get the correct answers. All these solutions are worked out. This problem is an example where you may not get the answer if you use natural logarithm because there is trigonometry. See, it's not 100%. You might get the answer for ln as well because this is very simple function. Only sine and cosine is there. But generally, when there is secant square root, you will not, will not get. So you have to use log base e. So we will use log base e and try this. Now here, we will write, clear your calculator once in a while. And now we will write that as cosine alpha x. The question as it is. Now, instead of log natural logarithm, I've used log base e by pressing alpha and this symbol over here and we have sine alpha x now all the brackets are closed and now what i will do is i'll just write a multiplication sign here calculate this at 1.5 so what is the answer over here now this is not the correct answer why because i have not changed it to radian mode shift mode and 4 gives me the radian mode now this is the correct answer so what you need to do is write it down somewhere, negative 1.7741. It's important to write 10 to the power minus 4 as well. Now let's look into the answer. You will have four options. You need to try out all the four. Now this is the final answer over here, isn't it? So how do I take that? Shift and divide by dx. Now type it out. Sine x, close the bracket. Multiplied with natural logarithm. Again, sine sorry it's not cosine sine x close the bracket of x and also the sine and then what do you have minus sine x and close the bracket properly and over here we have 1.5 let's look at the answer it should match this and it will match it so this is the final answer i mean this is the correct answer the other options will not match over here i just realized i use ln and i got the answer but let us try with 
log base e because we is uh, we generally take log base e c o e it worked okay but generally it may not you'll get a syntax error and then you need to just change that let's try with log base e now sign x close the bracket once you open count the brackets as you go on multiply with log base e and then over here put sign and close the x and close the bracket of first x and then the sign as well now everything is closed but you can see one is extra so i just remove one count the brackets properly one two one two okay this is fine now and then what minus sign x so sign x and now close the bracket properly again and now 1.5 the answer must be yes that's the correct answer now over here this is a great example to show that natural logarithm works in various cases but whenever you have secant or square root please use log base e it'll be 100 percent proper but otherwise you if you get a syn syntax error over here just change it to uh, you know log base e it will definitely give you the answer but as all these problems you can try it out by yourselves now these problems are very direct problems all you need to do is put this as it is in the integral sim uh, integral option let's do this all you need to do is press this integral over here and then type it out x sine 2x and what do we have got over here uh, limits are 0 to 1 now the answer we get will be in decimal form generally so now what you need to do is write this out 0 0.45 somewhere and now solve this up half cosine over here cos 2x just 2 sorry plus 1 fourth sine 2 so this value should and must match what we got and it matches that's how we check this answers here also it's same thing since it's in radian mode you can directly put pi and check that's absolutely fine and over here if you do this you'll directly get minus 4 over here same way please do try the other problems by yourselves all the answers are mentioned here in your calculator you won't get this fraction form you'll get decimals so do check that even over here all these are very simple problems they these are with the limits they are called definite integrals so just substituting in the calculator now this is not definite integral but we can easily check the correct answer when there are options over here and uh, similarly all these problems are solved there are just plenty now what if you have sine ax and bx what happens over here in such cases not to worry what i will do is i'll assume some value for sine uh, a value and b value so let me consider this let me type it out as it is sine i'll take a value as 3 and b value as 4 a multiplied x i generally take 1.5 itself and what about Co cosine it is bx b i will take it as 4 into 1.5 and now don't take don't take them as same values it must be unique that's the only thing okay i shouldn't have written 1.5 i could have directly i even if it, if you have written it directly it's fine you can write it as like this x only because this one method if you learn that's better to continue the same method see your sign 3x because a value is assumed to be 3 and cosine 4x uh, 4 value is b now calculated at 1.5 now remember this answer so write it down somewhere and then you need to do the same thing for all the options right so i'll just write 0 0.93859 and over here a value is taken as 3 and this as 4 x as 1.5 now let's look into the final answer now this is not the final answer let's see where is the final answer over here i believe so you can see this is the final answer now type this out with dy by dx now first thing one divided by what is b squared b squared will be four squared minus three squared close the brackets and now again open the brackets over here b what is b again four multiplied with sine now inside sine there is a that is three into over here Put it as x itself because at the end we will change that now close the bracket of sine ax is done multiplied with sine bx sine 4 times x close the bracket or you can directly write it over here as 4x as well that's fine now after this sine x uh, sine x bx you need to put a plus 
a value is 3 multiplied with cosine ax that is over here uh, 4 sorry that's 3 multiplied by x close the bracket and now multiply this with cosine bx 4x that is close the bracket now what is the x value it's 1.5 and the now there is some you know over here this is the error what is this multiplication now still there is an error that means i have done the bracket error so i opened the bracket over here closed it open closed opened and closed open see now i have not closed one of the open bracket initially i opened it right so now i will get the answer and look at the answer yes absolutely it matches doesn't matter what once you follow this method properly you will get the full correct answers but make sure you input all the values properly and you will definitely get the answer and that is the end of part one finally we have finished all the questions i wish you all the very best for your exams please do study well don't keep it at the last minute try to revise as early as possible if you have any doubts, please do post them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you very soon. You can find all the explanation videos of part one questions and part two questions in my channel. I just want to thank each and every one of you for supporting my channel, for subscribing to my channel, for sharing my videos with your friends. I really appreciate it so much. I'm so grateful to all of you guys for all the support, for all the love. I just want to wish you all the very best. I hope everyone gets great marks in their exams. I wish you good luck and take care.